What's going on guys? This is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys, in today's video, I am going to show you that how you can set up a firewall into WSL Ubuntu Linux system. In my previous video, I already show you that how you can host a WordPress website in WSL Ubuntu on Windows 11. And in this video, I am going to guide you to set up UFW or uncomplicated firewall in WSL Ubuntu Linux system to protect the incoming or outgoing connection. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my terminal window. And from here, I'm going to switch to Ubuntu operating system. I had already installed Ubuntu 22.04.4 LTS on this Windows operating system using the WSL. If you don't know how you can install the Ubuntu in WSL, you can watch the video on the iCard. Click here and watch this video and set up the WSL Linux system in your Windows operating system. Okay, so this is my Ubuntu operating system terminal. Now, first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to update the latest packages of your Ubuntu operating system. So here I'm going to type sudo app-y update. Then press enter, then give your root password and press enter. And this command going to update all the Ubuntu packages. Now after that, we have to install the UFW or uncomplicated firewall tools on our Ubuntu operating system. For this, we have to type sudo app install UFW-Y, then press enter. And this command going to install the UFW uncomplicated firewall in your Ubuntu operating system. Now after that, you have to enable the UFW firewall. To enable the UFW firewall, you have to type this command sudo UFW enable, then press enter and it will enable or active the UFW firewall. To see the status, type here sudo UFW status, then press enter. Here you can see it showing us status active. To disable this UFW, you have to type sudo UFW, then disable. Here you can see firewall stop and disable on system startup. Now if I type sudo ufw status then press enter. You can see the status is inactive. Now let's again enable our ufw firewall. You have to type the sudo ufw enable command and it will active the ufw firewall. Now let me show you how you can open any port into this ufw firewall. So here you need to type sudo ufw allow, then you have to specify the port number. In this case, I'm going to type 22, then press enter. And here you can see this rule has been added. Now to check the status, again type sudo ufw status, then press enter. And here you can see there is a rule, 22 port is allowed from anywhere. Now guys, in my previous video, I already show you that how you can install WordPress on WSL Ubuntu Linux. Now let's try to access that WordPress website which is hosted in this WSL. For this, first we have to check our Apache web server status. So here I'm going to type sudo systemctl status apache2, then press enter. And here you can see our Apache web server is running. Now, if I type here if config to get the IP address of our Ubuntu operating system, here you can see this is my Ubuntu operating system IP address. I'm going to copy it from here. Now, if I open my browser, then paste that URL here. Here you can see our Apache web server is not loading. Also, if we try to access the WordPress and press enter, here you can see the website is not loading. Because in our UFW firewall, 80 port is not allowed. So now let's quickly allow the 80 port on our UFW firewall. So here if I type sudo UFW allow 80, then press enter. Here you can see rules has been added. So again if I type here sudo UFW status and press enter. Here you can see 80 port is already allowed from anywhere. 
Now, if I open my browser and reload this page, here you can see the WordPress website. And if I remove this WordPress text and press enter, here you can see our Apache default page. So now that HD port has been opened and allowed in our UFW firewall. That's why we can access this website. Like this, you can add different type of rules on your UFW firewall using the command. Now let's add a deny rule. Here I'm going to deny a rule to access 443 port. So here I'm going to type sudo UFW deny 443 then press enter and this rule has been added as deny. Again if we type sudo UFW status here you can see the 443 port is denied from anywhere. Like this you can easily add allow or deny rule into your UFW firewall. Now let me show you how you can delete any rule. Let's say we are going to delete the 443 rule. Type here sudo UFW delete deny 443 then press enter. Here you can see rules has been deleted. Now again if I check our status you can see 443 deny rule has been removed from our firewall. Now to reload all the rules we have to type sudo uFw reload. It will reload all the rules of your uFw firewall. Here you can see firewall has been reloaded. Okay, now let me show you how you can specify any specific host into any firewall rule. Let's say I'm going to allow a 443 port from a specific IP address. So here I'm going to type sudo uFw allow. Then I'm going to type here proto as protocol and the protocol will be TCP. Then here I'm going to type from, I'm going to specify the IP address which is 192.168.0.200. Then I'm going to type here to any port 443. Using this command, I'm going to add a new rule to 443 port which is only allowed to this IP address. Let's press enter. Here you can see rule added. Now if I again type sudo uw status, here you can see 443 port is allowed from this IP address. Like this also you can add the deny rule. Also you can add different application which work with port number. You can specify that application to uw firewall. Let's say I want to add Apache web server services so that uw automatically open 80 and 443 port. So here you will type sudo uw allow apache then press enter then if i type sudo uw status here you can see apache service port number has been allowed also to view which application have installed a profile you can type this command sudo uw app list then press enter and here you can see the available application which can be added into our UFW firewall. In my case, I have only Apache services. If you run Samba SSH, then you will get all of this application name in this list. So guys, like this, you can use this UFW firewall on your WSL Ubuntu Linux system. And guys, in this UFW firewall, you can add many more things. To see all the commands, Type here sudo uw dash dash help and press enter. And here you can see what else you can do with this uw firewall. So, guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoyed this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And, guys, if you need to this channel, then please do subscribe this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I'm Mehdi Shakil, you're watching Instinct Tutorial and I'm signing out.